This whole Damian Lillard situation is a complete mess. Unless you've been living underneath a rock, you've known that Damian Lillard has finally requested a trade. Finally requested a trade from a losing organization that failed to build around you, and you're 33. 33 finally demanding a trade. When a lot of people will look at you and look at Steph and say, if you guys swap spots, you guys will probably be in the exact same situation. You've wasted so many years of talent, and now finally at his 33-year-old season, he's requesting a trade to either the Heat or, well, let me not even say or. He is demanding a trade to the Heat. That is the only team he wants to go to, and he's made that abundantly clear to the Trailblazers front office. And the biggest issue with this is, okay, so now you demand a trade, you tell the world, and you say, I only want to be traded to the Heat. You just killed all the leverage that the Trailblazers have. So now the Heat don't want to offer anything, really. They're saying that they're offering Tyler Hero. The Trailblazers say they don't want a package with Hero. They're interested in Bam. And they're not trading Bam for Damian Lillard at this point in his career. The only way the Heat would make this trade is if they compare Bam, Jimmy, and Dame all together. And that would be the only way that would make sense. Because why would the Trailblazers trade for Tyler Hero when they already have a better version of Tyler Hero and Anthony Simons? I really just don't understand what Dame is trying to do here. You're at the weaning ends of your career. I would say he's at his peak, but this is a later end of the peak, man. How long do you think Dame's going to play? Until maybe he's 35, 36? These are his last few years in the league. Requesting a trade now really makes no sense. I get it. You want to win. But why weren't you thinking about that earlier on in your career? Every single summer, we had to look at a no running from the grind post. No teaming up. I'm not like these other NBA players. But look, now you are. At 33. So also, the Portland Trailblazers, it depends how you really look at it. They are an organization at the end of the day, and they need to do what's best for the organization. You could say, oh, if they don't trade Dame to where he wants to go, they're going to be blacklisted from all NBA free agents, from all NBA players entering free agency. People aren't going to want to go there because they see how dirty they did Dame. But no one wants to go to Portland anyway. So what does it matter how they do Dame in this situation? There's a lot of teams out there with some nice collections of picks right now, like OKC, like the Utah Jazz. There's a lot of teams that I'll be looking to trade Dame to if it wasn't the Heat, because I would want the biggest return possible. I want to improve for my future, and I can't do that with Tyler Hero. The GM for the Blazers said they're willing to wait for as long as it takes to get a suitable offer for Dame. And I completely agree with him. What's the point of trading your best player, one of the best players in the league, for absolutely nothing in return? And then Dame, in a press statement this week, said that he doesn't want to speak on the Blazers. And yes, he's publicly admitted to wanting a trade request. And he's probably going to get fined now. This just looks so tumultuous. I don't understand why things had to be so messy if you guys were so close and this was such a great organization. And there's rumors that Dame may sit out. He said that he wouldn't sit out, but at this point, <laughs> I just don't see what you can do. You're demanding a trade, but then you're going to play into the season. And then what if they do ship you off to Utah or Oklahoma? Like, are you going to sit out and try to get pushed again to the Heat? And then for the Heat, let's think. Dame, Jimmy, Bam. That sounds really, really, really good on paper. But this is going to be a one-and-done type of situation. This is not a longevity team. Like I said before, Dame is 33. Jimmy is 33. But yeah, he's only 26, but Bam cannot lead your team. So I would hate to see Dame make this big stink at the end of his career where he could have been one of these career-long one-team guys that we rarely, rarely ever see in today's NBA to go chase a ring and it doesn't happen. Like, ideally, yes, this is a great team on paper, but the winning window for this team is extremely thin, especially when we look at the elephant in the room. This team is going to be aging. You're going to be getting older. Your players are going to be entering their mid-30s, and then you have a team like the Celtics. You see the Celtics. The Celtics are building an extremely talented roster. You see they picked up Kristaps. You see this extended Jalen Brown. You see they still have Jason Tatum. That's going to be a scary team. These guys are in their 20s. They're going to keep going up at this point. They're going to hit their peak soon while you're going to be declining in your career. So I just really don't see a way for Damian Lillard to go to the Heat, especially when the Blazers want to package with Bam. The Heat have nothing to offer outside of Tyler Hero. 
and the Blazers aren't interested in Tyler Hero. So do you think like there'll be a three team trade possibly? But who would be willing to get involved? Because essentially you're helping contribute to a juggernaut in the East. And I don't think any team is willing to do that without getting as any assets in return. So does that mean you trade Dame, he goes to the Heat, and then maybe you have to give up Jeremy Grant to get a three-way deal done to get Bam? At the end of the day, that's still not worth it. Not even close to worth it. We're only a month out or two months out from the start of the regular season. So we'll see what happens with Dame or if he wants to sit out, if he's actually going to play, or if they even manage to get a trade put together for him. But I'm not expecting a lot, at least not currently. I'm going to need to see a little bit more commitment from some other teams. Some real offers are actually feasible for him to get moved. You guys let me know. What do you guys think? Where do you think he's going to end up? Do you think he's actually going to get traded or do you think he's not running from the grind anymore? Like, comment, and subscribe.